And I have a word because I made a huge mistake. The first map is not going to be Whirlwind. It is actually going to be Belshia. I miss looked out of the corner of my eye, which was a bit of a mistake. But anyway, we've got some cool stuff going to be coming down here. Anyway, spawning in the lower right hand position as the red Terran player representing Mouse Sports. It's Hero Marine. And his opponent in the top left, it's the blue Protoss from ATM. It's Zocke. So, Hero Marine, Hero Marine, Hero Marine. He took down, um, as I refresh my memory, Hero Marine took down Hanfi in the first, in the second series of the night. Zocke took down Salt the Wound. Both players annihilating Zergs, which is great if you don't like Zerg. Um, but yeah, anyway. This should be quite interesting to see how this match goes down because they both took different approaches up against Zerg. Admittedly, they are different races, so should be coming up um, a bit differently. But, well, in terms of their TVP, who knows how it's going to go down. I didn't get a chance to Aligulac the both of them to work out their stats or things like that. But I've seen some comments in chat, some people predicting it both ways, so should be pretty fun. See how things are going to go down. Now, quick little assimilator is going to get thrown into the mix here. We've got the supply depot there too. Um, refinery and barracks are on their way. So Reaper opening most likely to be on the cards for Hero Marine. And that's to be expected up against Protoss. Reaper openings are just absolutely ace. They're really solid, effective. There isn't really too many downsides up against Protoss to using them. Three probes. Whacked into gas there. Gateway nearly finished up. Cybercore should be on the card straight after. It's really what they do after that. Are we going to see some one based tech based play from Sake? Are we going to see Hero Marine go for some one gate pressure or try and get a nice quick expansion down? We've got to keep a nice little eye on it. But well, for the moment, things are looking fairly good. Probe coming down here. Just going to get a quick peek to see if any things have been proxied or any nasty things could be on their way to deal horrible damage. But for the most part, the SCV just heading straight back up into the main. Going to get a little peek at really the tech choices, although not much to be seen. Just keeping an eye on the gas. It's the gases that are the critical thing to get found. When are they taken? How many probes are in there? SCV is going to see the expansion though, so that's actually a pretty solid scout. And I don't actually think yet there's been any scouting from Zake to know that anything that Hero Marine is doing. And Hero Marine, he's just got the one Reaper out on the map at the moment. He's following it on with a reactor back at home, plus a command center. So both expanding, both playing things fairly safe, pretty standard, macro orientated for this first game. Going to try and utilize their strengths, try and work out where their opponent's weaknesses are. And, well... Everything pretty solid, to be honest. We're not going to likely see this Reaper do much damage since the Mothership Core is already down and a Stalker is on its way. But that's fine. Everything is all going good. Now, as we can see as well, we've got second barracks coming down here. Gas still being mined. Nope, there's no tech lab or anything yet on one of these barracks as of yet. There's no real gas spend, really, aside from that reactor currently. Um, just purely being one Reaper is the only gas in that reactor. So, should be seeing something come out soon. Zarke is going for the Stargate, though. And that's why we're seeing the Stalker and Mothership Core do such a vigilant job of keeping the Reaper out. Doesn't want to get it scouted. By its positioning, it can get down here and across as quickly as possible. The fastest route towards the natural base. It's also going to be quite difficult to scout there, too. Unlikely to get scans, since most scans would sort of hit this area around, give or take a bit. So... That's all cool. Tech Lab now being added onto a barrack. Second gas being taken by Hero Marine. It's okay. Still just sitting on those two assimilators. He's going to add in a forge, so he's not going all in or anything with a big Sky Toss play or anything like that. Instead, probably just going to see either an Oracle or a couple of Phoenix make their way through. Most likely going to be the Oracle. Um, that's just what I expect. And there we go. Oracle is coming down. So this is all cool. Oracle wins up against marines as long as there's not six or more that's really the critical number that you've got to keep in your head no missile turrets are in position as of yet and the marine count well there's three coming out at a time so this oracle probably will get shut down unfortunately for the protoss player but he's got the forge coming down behind it it's gonna keep hero marine back in his base being defensive about anything that could be coming through and that's what's really critical you want to make sure that your opponent isn't going to be attacking you too much you've also got the option to follow on 
with a couple of Phoenix should you want to. The Reaper has managed to make it in to the main. Just sees the Stargate. Literally just, but didn't see him researching anything. So he may be expecting push to come in. Marines likely to get pulled back and move into a solid defense position nice and early. We may see missile towers get started seeing as the engineering bay is now done. The Reaper did die for the cause, but what a cause to die for, knowing that's coming down. A couple more Marines making their way through here. Um, there is enough to engage this. A couple of SCVs are going to get taken out. The Oracle still moving forward. Going to just try and deal any damage that it can. Try and get a couple of kills. Bit of a running jump at it, but still. Oracle. Four kills down, and it's going to escape with its life. Anything that you kill for free is going to be pretty solid. Now, admittedly, it's not for free. That was the investment of the Oracle, but it's still up. and come back in later, forcing some missile charts to get made, forcing Marines to sit back and be defensive. And ultimately, Hero Marine is unaware if there's only the single Oracle or whether there's a second one, making him have to decide where he positions Marines, does he position them at both bases, or what. Twilight Council plus some additional gates are being added on with the plus one armor. With the plus one armor, I'm expecting to see charge come down from the Twilight Council, as well as a quick Templar Archives or Dark Strike in order to get some Zealot Arc on mid game. The reason I'm expecting that is because if you were going for something like Blink Stalkers, you'd be seeing the plus one attack, not the armor. The armor is critical just to mean those Zealots take a lot less damage from the Marines with their low damage but high rate of fire. So everything looking solid here. Stim is now done. Uh, the factory just floating up here. Having a little peek, probably going to go on its scouting mission soon. And just as expected, down comes the Templar Archives, as well as six gateways. Adding on to... No, that is actually just... Okay, six gateways in total. Going to be added into the mix now. And that's all good. With plus two on its way down as well. So no storm getting researched yet, because of course the Templar Archives isn't finished. But keeping an eye out for whether that will come down the Oracle. Went in for another pass, didn't make any more kills, but... Still, just keeping the pressure on, and also sees that, hang on, there's not that many units there. A push is probably incoming. Sentry Stalkers getting pulled back. Mothership Call with enough energy for a Photon Overcharge and a Time Warp. And well, if we could do that, it would be awesome. So, a couple of shots going down there. Photon Overcharge is going to be triggered. Great Force Fields allowing the Zealot to close up the distance. Time Warp now being used too. The Photon Overcharge dealing as much damage as possible. The Oracle getting into the mix will pull back, so it can't get taken out as of yet. Another retreat will come down here from Sake, just trying to play it safe. Hero Marine, unable to break the front and took quite a lot of losses there. And look at, wow, wow that is a big loss. 300 resource loss compared to 1,275. That is a very efficient, well, zealot army. Now, bear in mind, we do have Storm on its way down. Charge is researched, plus two, nearly done. Um, so yeah, once plus two is down, those zealots are going to be able to soak up a lot of damage. Plus one is already finished, but plus two is not on its way out yet for Hero Marine, because he's only got the single engineering bay, and therefore is only doing single upgrades. A drop, though, is on its way towards the main base. It has not yet been detected by Zoke, and Hero Marine could try and snipe off some critical infrastructure. But with a good potent cannon placement, he's going to struggle to achieve that. And we are going to probably see these High Templar make their way through, try and go for some feedbacks on the medevac, and just really push the pressure down. But with a push coming down towards the third base, the cancel will be forced on the third Nexus. And that is a great low win for Hero Marine, who's just trying to deny expansion since his own third is nearly finished. Just wanting to get an economical lead now. We see that the armory is getting started, so plus two is going to get started. Ghost Academy also on its way, so ghosts therefore going to be constructed shortly. Combating the High Templar. A couple of good AMPs or snipes will shut them down quite nicely. Another drop heading towards the natural, but Photon Overcharge going to be shutting that down. A single High Templar tried to get a feedback, unable to do so though, so the drop will be able to survive with its life. The third Orbit Command is now morphing through. Note, there's a single Oracle waiting here patiently to get a little bit of scanning information. But it's okay, starting to move forward, being a bit more aggressive, looking for an opportunity to deal a bit more damage. But what is there for the moment for Hero Marine? Well, a good surround is the answer. He's coming in from all angles. Storm is done though. But the High Templar exposed from every position. Storm's being used just to force this all back. A couple more Archons trying to morph through. Zealots attempting to tank up some of this damage. But with a great surround. Hero Marine, he's shutting it all down with ease. Great trade. Really leveled out the resources lost. And actually now in Hero Marine's advantage. But a couple of feedbacks go down on the medevacs. Preventing a little bit of the healing with so many there. This green water force still advancing forward. Still dealing more damage. Being effective at all angles. And 
Sake losing significant amounts of units. Hero Marine pushing forward, a Marauder heavy composition to combat the Stims. And bear in mind, there's not even Ghosts yet. They haven't started in production. The Ghost Academy is done. But that trade against High Templar was pure Marine Marauder medevac. And that's something which many Terran players would struggle to achieve. Now, plus one. Ground weapons is on its way down. Plus two ground armor is already finished for Zake. Meanwhile, for Hero Marine, he's got plus two infantry attack, and now the ghosts in production too. The first Colossus though is on its way. Viking count is going to need to start rising. Currently, Medivac still in production. This is going to be the tenth Medivac coming out now, so a good amount of healing potential. And the Colossi aren't really too threatening yet, especially when extended thermal arts is not done. It's not being researched either, which is problematic. And a mass drop is coming down in the main base of Zoke. So, Hero Marine is going to try and pick off some key infrastructure. Once again, the cannon goes down. The Nexus is getting focused. Is Zoke going to be able to get back in time to defend this? The answer, no, he won't. Hero Marine can pick up now and get out of there and be feeling pretty happy with himself. Is able to take out a good number of Zealots, but boosts away first. Sniping that Nexus, absolutely huge. The gas income missing is what's going to really hurt. And Hero Marine still got his third base secured up behind this. So he's a base up now, a mining base up. And he's going to be feeling very happy with himself. Because even though there's more probes down and the work count is pretty much equal, without that base, the saturation, the spread, the efficiency of the mining is hugely in the Terran's forecourt now. And really, if Zoke can't deal some counter damage, he's running into some problems. While the supply is only 14 in Hero Marine's favor, the upgrades are going solid. We've got vehicle, up, vehicle and ship upgrades coming down too, so these Vikings are going to be really hitting against the Colossi Hard and Extended Thermal Lance. Only just now getting started, and Sake completely broke in terms of gas. He's not got much money. Hero Marine, he's also not got much money. And that's because his macro is so damn efficient. Look at the size of the army now moving up towards the third. If this third Nexus goes down, I don't want to call it too early, but that going down would potentially end the game right there because there would just be no way for Sake to get significant resources in to be able to defend stuff. Now, a small Zelda counter push is coming in. A few more on their way through too. Reinforcements are going to get picked off, but Hero Marine coming back. He's got a good number of Marauders. Just going to try and engage these. Buy himself some more time. A good few SCVs are getting taken down though. And unfortunately, with the SCVs going down, it's a bit more problematic. But they are retreating, trying to get away to safety. Ten in total have been killed, and the Zealots now cleaned up. But this is opening up the front door. Unfortunately, Hero Marine predicted this may have been coming. Leaves a splinter group of his army there. Or actually the vast majority of his army there in order to defend any push that may come by. The main trying to get remade. Trying to bait some units up there into the range of those storms. But no, Hero Marine playing it passively, playing it carefully. He's got the 2-1 upgrades compared to 1-2 currently on the Protoss side. Blink getting research too as well as the plus 3 ground armor. This is getting into the later stages now. It's all about army composition at the moment. Can the storms and snipes get off? Can the EMPs be good? Well, for the moment, it's looking like it's favoring Hero Marine. Those Colossi dealing some nice damage, but an EMP goes down on them, minimizing the amount of shields they've got. The Vikings coming in from the side too. Bear in mind, these Vikings do have plus one air weapons, dealing a lot more damage than really something I would like. One Colossus falls, the second one taking more and more damage. The scan goes down, keeping vision, just taking a look. Is there enough gateway units to defend this? A huge EMP on all of the Zealots really shuts them down. The final Colossus attempting to make a stand. A good storm is being used, but the Marines and Marauders are still pushing forward. The final Colossus taking significant amounts of damage will fall, and a hero Marine pushing forward looking strong. He's going straight for that Nexus. GG's cool though before he can get his trophy. And Hero Marine will be 1-0 up in this best of three winners game already.